Hey everyone, this is World Read Aloud Day and I'm here to read for you how Anansi got his stories. Quick crack, monkey break his back on a piece of pomerac. Long ago, when Nayame was king of the sky, he kept all stories for himself. The people on earth felt very sad, so Anansi decided to help. Anansi began to spin a beautiful silk ladder all the way up to the sky. When he arrived, he said, Nayami, you are king both of the sky and of stories. Please share your stories with us on earth. Nayami thought for a while, then he said, Anansi, you can have my stories if you bring me a snake, a leopard, and a swarm of hornets. Anansi returned sadly to earth. But after a while, he rubbed his hands together and smiled. He walked into a field of sugar cane where he found Snake. Hi, Snake, he said. I bet you're not very long. Surprised by the challenge, Snake stretched himself out. Wait, I have an idea, said Anansi. I'll tie you to this cane so I can be sure you are really long. Snake agreed and Anansi smiled. One down, two to go, he thought to himself. Next, Anansi walked into the forest where he found Leopard sleeping in a tree. Quickly, he dug a hole and shouted, Leopard! The big cat woke up so suddenly, he fell out of the tree and straight into Anansi's trap. A clever spider covered the hole with a web of silk and went on his way. One more to go, thought Anansi. Next, he filled a gourd with water and went in search of a swarm of hornets. We used to call them Jep, you know, in Trinidad. Very carefully, Anansi climbed up high and dripped water onto the hornet's nest. It's raining, shouted, shouted Anansi. Come into my gourd and keep dry. Obediently, the hornets all flew in and Anansi created a lovely web to keep them safe. Victory, shouted our happy hero, as he carried his victims to Naomi's throne in the sky. Naomi agreed that Anansi had met all conditions of his challenge. From that day till now, Anansi has been the king of storytelling. Wire Ben, story in. Happy reading. <laughs>